After I made this video on how I generated consistent AI influencer images, one of you requested me to make a video on how to create videos of your AI influencer. So here on Whisk AI, which is actually accessing VEO3, that's the tool being used here on Whisk AI to make the videos. And that's exactly why I've made this video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create videos of your AI influencer here on Whisk AI. So you have a very simple assignment. If you want to understand everything step by step and not miss any detail, just watch this video till the end so you can learn how to create videos of your AI influencer that you've generated on Whisk AI. Now, go ahead and like this video and let's get started. If you haven't watched the video or if it's your first time being on this channel, I've linked it in the description below. It will also appear on the end screen at the end of this video. You can watch it next to understand what I'm talking about here so you can follow along easily and see how we got to this point and know why we're now creating videos of the AI influencer in this tutorial. All right, the first thing you'll need before creating your videos is an image to video prompt that you're going to use to create your videos here on Whisk AI. You can use ChatGPT to help you with that, especially if you have no idea how to write an image to video prompt or what to include in one. Don't overthink it or make it complicated. It's just a simple prompt and Whisk will still understand what you're going for based on the image you want to turn into a video. When you're on ChatGPT, describe everything clearly. You can even upload the image image that you want to turn into a video so ChatGPT can give you a more accurate prompt that matches your desired look. Just click the plus icon, upload your photo, and ask ChatGPT to create an image to video prompt that you can use to create your video. ChatGPT will then generate a prompt for you. Read through it carefully to make sure everything makes sense. If you want to refine, remove, or add certain details, go ahead and tell ChatGPT exactly what to adjust. Describe everything clearly so it can give you a well detailed prompt that will give you the best results when creating your video. Now, before I go ahead and show you how to create the videos, I want to make you aware of this. Yes, on Whisk AI, you can create videos of your images for free, but the free account has a limited number of videos you can make per month since it's using VEO3 to generate them. So it's free, but with limits. That means you shouldn't misuse your available video generations if you're on the free plan. However, they also have paid plans. So if you want to create more more videos or access premium features, you can upgrade. But if you're starting out with the free plan, you can make up to five videos per month using VEO3. I'll show you all that in a moment. But for now, I just wanted to make you aware of what to expect. Now let's get into creating the videos of your AI influencer. It's very simple. If you hover your cursor over one of the images you've created on Whisk AI, you'll see an animate button appear. Click on that button to add your image to video prompt and create your video. However, if your image is in a square or portrait ratio, you won't be able to generate videos for now because VEO3 currently only supports landscape ratio videos. So here's what you can do. Let's say I want to make a video of this exact same image look, the same AI influencer, but the only problem is that I generated the image in a square ratio. In that case, come to the aspect ratio section and switch it to landscape. Then go to the seed number section and type in the exact seed number that I told you to note down when you were creating your AI influencer influencer or when you were working on consistent AI influencer images. That same seed number is what you'll type in here and then lock it. After that, go to the same image that's in square ratio, copy its prompt, and paste it into this new landscape ratio setup. This ensures you're recreating the same scene, same pose, and same look, but in landscape format. Then click generate, and as you can see, it will create an image with the same clothing, same pose, and same scene, but now in landscape ratio. It may not be 100% identical, but it will maintain the same overall style and appearance you were going for. Now your image is in the 16.9 landscape ratio, which allows you to create the video. But before you generate the image, make sure that after you've switched the ratio to 16.9 and locked your seed, you also check the box on the left panel. This ensures Whisk uses your base image, the one you uploaded, as a reference, so you get the same consistent AI influencer. Once you've done that, click Click Generate. Whisk AI will give you two images per generation round. Go ahead and choose the one you like best. For my case, I'll go with this one. And this is the one I want to turn into a video. Now, put your cursor on that image again and you'll see the Animate button. Click on it and it will bring you to a new section where you can enter your image to video prompt, the one you got from ChatGPT. Paste your prompt there, then click Generate and Whisk AI will start creating your video. Be patient during this process. You 
can continue working on other creations while your video processes. Then Whisk will notify you when it's ready or you can find it under the videos section. Now, my video is ready. And before we even watch it, I just want to mention that yes, Whisk AI is using VEO3 to make the videos for you. You can even see the VEO3 logo on the bottom right corner of your video, confirming that it was generated using VEO3. All right, now let's go ahead and watch the result. Oh wow, I'm really amazed. This video turned out so well. I love how smooth it looks. That camera motion just makes it feel so realistic. I really love the final result. So what do you think? How did VEO3 do here? Leave your opinion down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. For me, this is exactly what I was going for. It looks natural and realistic, almost like a real influencer moment, showing off her look. I just love how it came out. You can go ahead and try it on your end and see what results you get. To download your video, just click the download icon and it'll download instantly. Also, just to make you aware again, since we're on the free plan, we've now used one generation, meaning I have four left for the month. So remember to be mindful when generating videos so you don't waste your free generations. Now, of course, you're not creating these videos just for fun, at least I hope not. You're making them to build a brand or an account on platforms like Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, or wherever you want to grow and start monetizing your AI influence and videos. So let's say you want to upload this video on Instagram Reels or any platform that prefers vertical format, but your video was created in landscape ratio. What do you do in that case? You'll just need to edit it and convert it to a portrait format. I'll quickly show you how to do that using any video editing tool you have. For this example, I'll be using Filmora to show you how to turn your landscape video into a portrait one. By the way, before I continue, I just want to share something exciting that I'm currently working on. I'm creating a brand new video course that will show you exactly how you can use an AI avatar to build your own brand and start monetizing it online in different ways. So, if you've ever wanted to start content creation or even a YouTube channel but didn't want to show your face, or maybe you've wanted to create content but don't have the budget for recording equipment, then this is going to be perfect for you. Right now, I've opened a waitlist for those who want to learn how to do this once the course is ready. The spots are very limited, and once they fill up, I won't be reopening the waitlist again. So, if you'd like to be among the first people to get early access and special early bird pricing when the course launches, make sure you join using the first link in the description before the spots fill up. And thank you so much to everyone who has already joined. I really appreciate it, but if you haven't joined yet, make sure you don't miss this opportunity. Go ahead and click that first link in the description and sign up before the doors close. All right, now let's get back to the video. So, open a new project in your editing tool, then import your video. Whether you're using CapCut, Filmora, or any other editing software, just import your video inside the editor. If you're using Filmora, I'll demonstrate how to do it here, but the process is basically the same for other editing tools. After importing, drag your video onto the timeline, which is your editing workspace. And from here, we'll move on to the next step. Now you're going to go ahead and switch the aspect ratio in your editing tool. If you're using Filmora, for example, just come over to this desktop icon right here, then select Change Project Aspect Ratio. If you're using any other editing tool, the point is the same. Just find where you can change the aspect ratio for your video. So for those using Filmora, once you click there, it's going to open a menu where you can switch your aspect ratio. As you can see from their list, there are plenty of ratios to choose from. They've even made it easier for you by labeling the standard ratios and including square and portrait options. For instance, you can use the square ratio if you're uploading to Instagram or use the portrait ratio. In this case, we're going with the portrait format. So I'll choose 9 to 16 and then click OK. After that, I'll select the video and just drag it or rather resize it to fit the new portrait screen. As you can see, it smoothly fills into the portrait ratio as I drag it in. Now you have your portrait video ready. Before, it was in a 16 to 9 landscape ratio, but now it's perfectly switched to portrait format. If I play it, you can see it's smooth, still looking amazing, and keeping focus on the main subject, our AI influencer in the video. Now, if your AI influencer is moving from one side 
side to the other. All you'll need to do is make it look like you're tracking the subject. Just go to that section, split or cut it, and move the video slightly so that your subject remains centered within the portrait frame. The idea is to make sure your main subject is always visible in the shot. For my case, it was very simple since my AI influencer isn't moving around. She's just standing in one position showing off her look, so I didn't need to split or reposition anything. Turning this into a portrait video was really easy. But still, if you want to switch the ratio again, you'll just repeat the same steps and choose whichever ratio you want to go with. Once you're done, go ahead and export your video. After exporting, you can upload it on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, wherever you want to grow your AI influencer brand. Just like the creators who are using AI influencers to build brands on Instagram, take time to learn from their style and strategy. If you stay consistent with this, trust me, you'll be able to grow your AI influencer and even monetize your account once your following starts growing. Just make sure you're creating videos people actually want to watch. Don't just upload the raw video. Go ahead and add some creative edits. Make it feel like it's a real influencer so you can grow your brand strategically depending on your AI influencer's niche. So that's how you can simply turn your landscape video into a portrait format, making it ready for platforms that require vertical videos. And that's also how you can easily turn your image into a video, right here on Whisk AI. I hope this video helped you learn how to create and prepare videos for your AI influencer. If you plan to upload videos on your AI influencer's Instagram account or any other platform, you now know exactly how to do it. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around till the end. Also, don't forget to hit that like button for me. And if you haven't watched the previous video where I showed how I made my AI influencers consistent images, make sure to check it out. It's going to appear on the end screen. Thanks again, and I'll see you in this next video. Thank you.